1958 movie, um, Touch of Evil, directed by Orson Welles, and he is the lead, takes the lead role as Hank Quinlan, a rather shady police detective working at the U.S.-Mexican border. Ramon Mike Vargas, played by Charlton Heston, is also a policeman, but he works in Mexico. He's married to Janet Leigh, who plays the wife Susan. Other significance are uh, Joseph Callison, who plays uh, Menzies, that's Quinlan's sidekick on the police force, uh, Akrin Tamiro plays a shady mafia uh, boss, Joe Grande. Uh, and uh, Joanne Moore plays uh, Marcia Lineker, the daughter of uh, uh, a wealthy bin- businessman who's blown to smithereens by, in a car bomb uh, at the beginning of the movie. We actually see the uh, device being uh, put under the car. And at the same time as this car is entering the U.S., uh, Vargas and his wife are also entering the U.S. on foot, and they witness the whole affair. This then leads to Hanklin, uh, 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 Quinlan appearing uh, to take charge of the investigation, and it becomes quite clear early on um, that uh, corrupt practices are on hand. Quinlan is sort of in bed with Grandi. Uh, he uh, finds it very, uh, uh, very difficult knowing that Vargas was uh, a, a witness to the bombing and he can't really keep Vargas out of the investigation because uh, the bomb was planted in Mexico. So as the f- uh, early stages evolve, um, Vargas and his wife are sort of on a, a romantic holiday, uh, so he then ends up uh, putting Susan in a car and sending her off to a hotel, at which point uh, Grandy's uh, men, uh, shady characters they are, find her location and try and uh, lean on her because Vargas is investigating Grandy's son for uh, various criminal activities, and it's likely that he's going to go down. So we immediately get confronted with the corruption that's taking place. Quinlan uh, appears not to want Vargas's uh, uh, complaint about uh, Grandy's handling of Susan in the hotel, uh considered as I- important and the movie then follows the pattern where quinlan uh does his best to uh conclude the investigation as quickly as possible based on hunches that him and his sidekicks have for example they uh, quickly arrest a man called sanchez played by Victor Melan, who's involved with Marcia, the daughter of the deceased, and uh, assume immediately that he has the motive to murder the girl's father, who's a wealthy business then, and it's, uh, uh, Marcia is due to inherit a large sum of money upon his death. We then also get the involvement of Vargas, uh, and Quinlan working together, and Quinlan uh, is quick to try and latch on to anything to undermine Vargas. And later in the movie, the fact that uh, 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 Susan has been found in a hotel under the influence of drugs that have been planted by Grandy's men suggests to Quinlan that uh, Vargas is a drug addict. And uh, his, uh, he suggests that that's uh, how he's going to handle him. So as you can gather from me going on and on and on about this, this movie is an absolute gem when it comes to focusing on the issue of corruption 
in politics and in the uh, police departments of both uh, Mexico and the border police in the US. Um, Wells deliberately uh, wanted this movie to expose corruption in the police force and he's done a pretty fine job of it. Um, he, his performance is very uh, deliberate, very controlling and very self-righteous and he uh, stink, stinks really of a corrupt cop and his lackeys consider him uh, as beyond criticism because of his ability to solve cases. On the other hand, uh, Vargas, uh, being uh, a Mexican, uh, is considered uh, soil goods and uh, everything is done to try and undermine him, even though his reputation in Mexico is of being a clean cop. So uh, this is how the movie uh, unfolds. I was very impressed with Charlton Heston in this movie. He did have a slight Mexican accent, but the scenes between him and Wells when they discuss certain aspects of the case is uh, certainly one that you should look out for. Um, the way that uh, men try and analyse and decipher motives and leads is uh, quite contrasting and uh, indicates uh, where their starting point is coming from. Uh, and the other uh, thing that I want to suggest is that uh, some of the uh, uh, activities involving uh, the gang uh, and the wife uh, are <laughs> quite amusing, to say the least. Uh, as the movie develops into its latter stages, uh, the inevitable uh, comes about, and I will not... Uh, bore you with uh, plot details which will spoil your enjoyment uh, but uh, basically the actual murder of the uh, person in the car almost becomes irrelevant as uh, Quinlan and Vargas head, uh, head towards confrontation uh, because of their different perception of uh, what is uh, the right way to go about uh, analysing the case. And so uh, it becomes a, a scenario where uh, Quinlan is trying to lay traps for Vargas and Vargas is trying to avoid them and piece together uh, a case suggesting that Quinlan is basically as corrupt as hell. So... An enjoyable watch in black and white. The use of uh, shadow and lighting by Wells, who's the director, is up there alongside his masterpiece, of course, uh, um, uh, that he made years before. And uh, uh, I would thoroughly recommend this uh, as a watch. It's Touch of Evil. It's re released in 1958. It's not as good as Citizen Kane, but what is? But it's definitely up there and is likely to be in my top uh, 10 at least for this year and possibly top five.